the conditions, prerequisite conditions for a successful spiritual seeking is being enumerated. Yahatu, whoever he be, the seeker be, to indeed, sarvani karmani, all his actions. My sannyasya, renouncing, surrendering it all to me. Matparaha, why? Because they consider me the highest goal to be reached. So then all actions dedicated to the goal. In every success, the same. If I want to become a multi-millionaire, what is the matter? Put forth your effort. But while putting forth the effort, you should never lose sight of the goal that you have to reach. And therefore, your every action must be guided by, regulated by, governed by your aspiration to reach that goal. You can't be rich while you are squandering away whatever your savings are. You have to see that you save more. Invest intelligently. Put forth all your effort to guard your capital and see that it multiplies. All these are because of the, on the back of your mind, constantly you keep your goal and dedicated to it. Every action towards it. Not, no action are undertaken which will cancel your progress, obstruct your progress, isn't it? Every action. So it is nothing new that he is talking. Keeping me as the highest goal, that I must become more and more steady in my contemplation in reaching him. So all my actions in the world outside, physical, mental, intellectual, are so regulated that I will not allow my mind to get dissipated. Not that mechanically I, I always chant Swamiji, Ram, 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 in doing everything. What is the use of talking Ram Ram? By merely saying that I must become rich, I must become rich, you will not become rich. Your actions are contrary to your intention. You are not dedicated to your goal. You can never reach. Whether it is in the material world, in commerce, in sports, the same, isn't it? I want to become or get the gold medal in the next World Olympics. Do you think that it is possible? Without your reaction of yours is regulated in order to reach that goal. You drink the whole night away or sit up late in the night. Such an indisciplined guy will not have the necessary stamina. See, he'll do every hour in your life. He is to be regulated and disciplined in order to reach that goal that you have kept. And this is possible only when you never forget your goal. Thus, in all actions you are remembering me, not a mechanical remembrance. But all your actions are so regulated and disciplined that it is all, every, mo every action is a step further towards that goal. Nothing contrary to it, you act. <laughs> Naturally, all moral ethical rules automatically come in your life. <coughs> Overindulgence will go away. Why I have to reach that goal? So some always dedicated to it. Ananyenaiva yogena. So in all your actions, you are, all actions are oriented. That is the best. Oriented with that memory, the goal that I have to reach. And such a mind and intellect. Ananya, with no otherness. Eva yogena. Tune up the mind and intellect turn his entire attention 
steadily on to that higher with ananya with no tripping down the mind into the world of channels of of your habitual sensuous world ananya with no otherness in the mind when you turn your attention Mom, me, the I and the upasa. The whether you are coming to me through the path of contemplation or devotion, even if you are doing the puja and all that, let us not beg at the, the altar. Oh Lord, give me this, give me that. He may give you, but that is he will give you only that. If you don't ask, he give you himself. So ananyena eva yogena. So the two factors: one, every action dedicated to him, oriented with that goal, and for some time during the day, try to bring all your mental attention to him exclusively. 